I'm here with uh, Cheryl Regallo. This is so special to me because obviously we both grew up here. And, um, many days, many days. Her brother was such an inspiration to the neighborhood. And um, <laughs> I used to come up here six, seven, eight years old and sit, you know, right here. And you'd walk up to the park, up to the street, and you know, you would, as a kid who loved basketball, you would, you would hope and pray that Jody Regallo was playing. <laughs> Honestly because he just had such a raw talent um, and you could just see it that he was on another level I mean I don't know how much he practiced but not he much he just did he just did it he just right? did it he can't I mean, anything you put in his hands he was good at whether it was a soccer ball a baseball or a basketball or a football yeah. and we played them all here played them all here we played baseball over there yep lots of basketball even on a day like today he'd be up here shooting showing me how to shoot a foul shot, which I could never do, yep. but he was just so good at it. And you could hear him through the whole neighborhood. Yeah. Because we only lived down the street. Yeah. Right? We grew up right down the street. Right down the street, the so yellow house, walked. right? Correct. Yeah. Yes. That's so awesome. You know, and I just wanted to tell you and, and, and you know, all the people that watch this, that, you know, it was, it's 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 just bigger than than basketball. I mean, if you, if you if you get a chance to watch somebody that inspired a little kid like myself, and you're still talking about it 45 years later, you know, just you know the confidence. I mean, it, he wasn't arrogant. You know, he 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 just had a confidence about him that he knew and believed in his ability. Yes. That you know, I I remember vividly that you know, let's just pick a scenario. You know, he would just run through. Let's say there's a five on five and he jumped over everybody, he'd get the rebound, he'd bring the ball back out to the three point line and you know that look in his eye. Yes. Do you remember the look? Absolutely. Okay. Because I remember yesterday. the look. Because he would he would step back out three point line. <laughs> he would have maybe one or two guys guarding him, but it wasn't an arrogance. He 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 had a look and you knew that this kid was gonna do something spectacular and he knew that nobody could stop him. Right. He was quicker. He was just a natural, like he no doubt could have professionally played, I think, in my opinion. I believe he could have. Yeah. As well as soccer was his next best thing. Okay. Because we played a lot of soccer together. Yep. And the guys from the neighborhood, we were known as the delinquent team. We played at Garrett Field. Yeah. Garrett. And, uh, you know, we every year we played. And he, no matter what, if he was the goalie, he'd kick the ball more than half field. If he was on the front line, yeah. he's kicking it in the goal. Yeah. And uh, we had some good tournaments, and uh, yeah. known as the delinquents as we all were, and he was. He just excelled with the soccer ball. Yeah, absolutely. But that basketball was his. Yeah. I remember him specifically playing a uh, softball over there too. I'd be standing up there watching them. Wasn't wasn't there what they called burnt toast? See those trees? I'm gonna hit it to the trees. He'd say. <laughs> All right, so you talked about his love for all the sports, played soccer and yes, uh, and baseball. Baseball. I remember. I don't know how long ago this was, but there were people talking. Know, you know, a small group of people would say, you know, hey, it's baseball season. You know, you know yeah. who's going to get the MVP this year? <laughs> it's going to be Jody Regallo. Yes. <laughs> Seriously, did you hear that? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and he would get the MVP in baseball so it was just amazing the raw talent that this kid had and uh, you know it, it, it it's as big as the as the town it's 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 you know it's you know and I, it's very hard to paraphrase like when you have something like that in a town like it, his reputation just grew and grew and manifested and it inspired this one and that one and this one and that one like when I watched him play I wanted to play like that and he he gave me the confidence to like you know really start playing basketball and 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 when I stepped on the court and I saw that look in Jody's eye I wasn't afraid of anybody else that I was playing against no matter how big they were how small they were I I, I emulated what your brother did and it gave me this quiet confidence like he had yes and it was just a beautiful thing to see he was my inspiration. Oh, actually. he was? Yes, he was my, um, I wanted to be like him. Yeah. And I wanted to be as good as he was. Yeah. And as a result, I went on and 
played sports in high school and became a phys ed teacher. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, now well, I'm retired now. Okay. But ideally, uh, he was my inspiration. He was your I wanted to be as good as he was. Isn't because that? he was so good. He was. And he was a natural. He's a legend. He Joe. is. And do you know he's he still knew everybody in Waterford. Anywhere he went, everybody knew Jody, and Jody knew everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And right up until the end. It was amazing. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I think that, you know, when he walked into a room or a place, I think that people were very happy. And, um, you know, they knew Jody was there, and it was great, you know. He was just an inspiring, charismatic guy. I mean, he had, you know, he had it all. He had it all. He had it all, that kid, man. Absolutely. You know, he had it all. And I, I, I didn't know him that well, but you know, I love him to this day, and uh, he changed my life. Good, I'm glad. And uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Much easier to talk about. Uh, thank you. It's been hard to talk about. But. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, Jody had uh, a great family. He did. He always wanted a soccer team, but okay. he ended up with three boys and a girl. Yeah. And his um, sons played basketball. Yeah. And some of you may remember his um, oldest, Jody Jr., who played for Waterville and was very, very good. Okay. Absolutely very, yeah, absolutely. very good. Talent like his father. Wow. No doubt, talent like his that father. That is wonderful. His senior year, he um, played for Lansenburg. Yeah. Interesting enough, and they did a whole piece on him in the newspaper. The Times Union did a big really? piece on him. What Jody, year was that? Jody Jr., oh, geez. Roughly. Probably Google it and find it. <laughs> yeah, go, you're going to have to Google yeah, it. Yeah, I will. I will. That's great. It was hard great. to keep track of him. And um, his other boys, Dallas and Dom. Yep. Because he was a cowboy fan. So as we all are, because yeah. if Jody was a cowboy fan, we were cowboy <laughs> fans. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he did name his second son, da da uh, Dallas. Yes. So That's hopefully. Great. We always said, I hope he likes the Cowboys, because if not, he's going to be in trouble, which he did, thank God, like the Cowboys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And his youngest son, Dom, but they're all tall, great athletes. Yeah. Dom's got the brains to be the coach. Okay. The other two got the skills. His daughter, Nikki, just got married Yeah. in September. Oh, wow, congrats. So we're all proud of them, that's, and they've done very well for themselves. That's great. And um, they live in Waterbury. Okay. Nice, nice. So uh, the legend lives on sure does. through his family, and God Absolutely. bless y'all. And uh, that's that's just a wonderful thing, you know. That's great. Okay.